There is so much delicious food available, but do you know how to create a healthy meal? With the help of these traffic lights, you can start by dividing your food into three groups of green, amber and red. Green foods have lots of nutrients and very little fat, sugars and only trace amounts of additives and preservatives. Amber foods contain larger amounts of sugar, salt, additives and preservatives. They have less nutritional value than green foods and will lead to weight gain. Red foods are the least healthy group. They have no nutritional value and contain very large amounts of sugar, salt, additives, preservatives and chemicals. So how do these traffic lights help you create a healthy meal? On all the packaged foods that you buy, there is a nutrition information panel. Here, you will find a list of the amount of energy, fat, saturated fat, sugar and salt in 100 grams of Weetabix. Energy, fat, saturated fat, sugar and salt each have their own traffic light, which tells if the level of those ingredients in the product makes your food green, amber or red. Let's have a look at the amount of salt in Weetabix. 230 milligrams of salt. Now let's have a look at the traffic light for salt. 230 milligrams is less than 300 milligrams, so that is a green light. How about sugar? 4.8 grams of sugar is also a green light. 1.9 grams of fat is another green light. Now for saturated fats. 0.4 grams of saturated fat is once again a green light. Energy, however, is a red light at 1,524 kilojoules. You now have the traffic lights of sugar, salt, fats, saturated fats and energy. You can see more green lights than the other colours, so Weetabix is a green food. When you discover a red or amber food, Always look for a healthier alternative. Some well-known breakfast cereals are red foods. So why not ditch the sugary stuff and have a bowl of porridge instead?